Alright, Angel Wolf here, back with Angel Wolf's Journey on Minecraft. And I'm on Minecraft 1.12.2. I am using a hacked client impact with a few other mods running on the Forge mod loader. And I'm going to load up my world and I'm going to show you around the hacked client I use called Impact. Just gonna wait for it to load here. Slightly slow. All right. Now that we're loaded into Minecraft, as you can see, I'm, I'm just at the bottom of my zero zero base. All right. So there are two types. Not two types, but two clients. There's, uh, there's Impact, and there's a paid client, uh, Future Client. Future Client's a little more feature-rich, but it's $20. It's only a single payment. Impact is free, and it is a decent client, almost as good. A, and I'm going to show you around the features. If you play, press uh, right shift on the keyboard, you get a menu. You double click on it, and you get all kinds of settings and tools you can use. There's an aimbot that you can easily use for uh, using bows. <coughs> There's anti-bot. Uh, it prevents bart bots from targeting you. Uh, auto armor that uh, replaces your armor and automatically equips armor. Uh, auto clicker it automatically clicks. You can use it for combat. Uh, auto totem which uh, automatically places a totem of undying in your offhand. Auto weapon uh, automatically determines the best weapon to use. Aimbot for your bow. Uh, automatic criticals. Crystal aura. That's for PvP. You can use end crystals to fight. And they hurt a lot. Uh, you can expand hitboxes to make it easier to hit. <clears throat> automatic hunt. You can automatically follow players. This is built for 2B2T, so you can automatically fight <clears throat> and hunt people. Uh, kill aura automatically attacks. Uh, pot swaps to a potion, as it says. Uh, more legit form of aimbot to avoid... Uh, Anti-cheat measures automatically eat soup on your hot bar. Miscellaneous, uh, you can uh, remove animations to get uh, better frame rates. Anti-aim, anti-desync uh, to prevent uh, lag and make sure that your blocks are going to be placed. Uh, you can uh, prevent the sound lag, uh, detects when staff members are around with anti-vanish, uh, you can automatically detect what anti-cheat is being used and uh, account for it, auto-disconnect, auto-reconnect, you can mess with chat the way chat looks. You can mess with lag. Uh, you can add people to a friends list with middle, middle clicking. Prevents uh, this SRP prevents resource uh, packs from being loaded by a server, so you can use a cheaty resource pack. Uh, this hides clients. 
You can perform various actions on signs. I don't think I've ever used it. Colored, visible, keep on. Uh, well, you can automatically turn uh, logs into planks if you right click them. You can mess with uh, rendering for better performance. This is for kind of combat, it prevents blindness and nausea effects, uh, removes various overlays, uh, creates a trail behind you, breadcrumbs, that's useful if you're hunting for bases on 2B2T and stuff like that. I'm just using it here on my single player world because it enhances the play on my single player world. <clears throat> Allow this camera clip allows third person camera to flip their blocks, uh, control capes, see entity through walls, GUI, ESP, reveals entity location, uh, you can s display in-game information above uh, other entities like players or stuff like that, change how lighting works, you can mess with the main menu a little bit, uh, mess with name tags, uh, reduces rendering to reduce lag, displays a radar to help you find the location of entities. I don't think I've ever used this. Oh, that's not super useful. It might be useful for you. Storage ESP, you can find uh, chests. That's what this green box is in front of me. That's a dungeon chest out there. Uh, tracers draws lines to entities. So you can easily find them. Yeah. No, I want tracers. I just want that to close. Alright. Trajectories that helps uh, with ender pearls and arrows of where they're going to land. Uh, you can turn some blocks into wireframe. Uh, you can see through blocks and walls with x ray. I don't really use it. There's exploits, anti fire, anti hunger. I don't know what Frankie does. Uh, ghost hand. You can reach through walls. Light automatically light people on fire. Uh, you can mess with your packets. I like new trunks that in my single player world that way I know if I'm uh, generating chunks and I didn't intend to. It helps me prevent from walking into non-generated terrain that, because I'd like things to stay. Uh, within the boundaries that I've already generated with MC Edit. You make modifications to portal behavior. That's uh, for things like uh, nether portals. You can work with movement. You can mess with the world a little bit. I don't use any of that. I don't have any reason for mini game. And uh, this is where all the fun stuff is. For player, you, you can anti AFK, so you can won't be kicked by uh, plugins on servers. You can automatically eat. You can throw stuff away that you don't want. You can automatically farm, automatically fish, automatically mine, automatically tool. You some kind of lag switch. Automatically steal stuff from chests if you're in an evil mood on an anarchy server. Adjust your interaction speed. Free cam, you can fly out of your body. You can, I've got it bound to E. And I, I cut my inventory on I. Uh, you make modifications to your inventory behavior. I haven't messed with this too much, but durability is useful. Yeah. Move items out of your hand with one durability. Mess with liquid interaction. 
prevent fall damage, uh, discards rotational blocks, randomizer, respawn, manage actions upon death. You automatically respawn if you want. You automatically place blocks beneath you with scaffold, skin blinker, automatically sneak. Now that's just a brief overview of the Impact Client and some of the tools it has. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to be using this hat client on my 1.12 roll. Uh, in my all my future videos, it supports up to 1.16 so far. So if they get to 1.18 or beyond, that'd be great. Uh, but don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. Uh, if you feel so inclined, you can subscribe to my Patreon. It's only $5 a month. You get a, to see my videos one day early. You get a producer credit. And you get to help me uh, come up with designs to build in the world uh, all through my Patreon. Uh, so thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.